everybody, and welcome to the Monkey and Manimal Movie Missions Podcast. I am your host, Monkey Jones. And I am Shrek. Oh. And who are you? Fiona. No! Oh. Back from the dead, it's Lightning Long Johnson. He was dead last month. Uh, Lightning, what happened? How'd you die? Um, unfortunate accident. Oh, what happened? Uh, did you guys hear about this Benghazi? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, did you die in Benghazi? Yeah, Benghazi. Oh, I ben- Kazi Benghazi. Oh, you Kazi. Oh, I thought Hillary Kazi Benghazi. Everybody Kazi Benghazi. Oh, it's our oh, oh, farts. Oh, it's all our farts. <laughs> it's all our farts. Oh, I we thought, farted. I thought what happened oh, yeah. was uh, you were in the zoo just minding your own business and a little boy fell into your pen and then they shot you. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty tragic. Uh, it was. I For about a week, and then it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Because how the show works, in case you're new here and you're like, oh, a Shrek video. I'm going to check out this Shrek video. Sure. Yeah. Is that once a month, the audience votes for what movie they want us to watch. And boy, did they this month. They sure did. Because for the first time ever, we watched a movie that we all enjoy. Yeah. yeah. They voted great. for the one, the only, the meme supreme the Ogre Overlord. Mm-hmm. Guys, I, I hope you understand what this means. Okay. It's Shrek's been on the list for for all four episodes now. Now that it's finally won, I promise you, I guarantee you from the bottom of my heart, this is not what I want, but this is what I predict. Okay. Next month, it's going to be Shrek 2. Okay. I can only I like it. Then it's going to be Shrek 3. Okay. And then it's going to be Shrek 4. And then it's going to be Puss in Boots. These motherfuckers, now that we started the Shrek train, yeah. it's never going to fucking end until we go through all the movies. So this is pretty much now <laughs> the next five months of our life is the fucking Shrek podcast. Well, we'll I just hope continue on with DreamWorks pictures after that. We'll just <laughs> yeah, be a DreamWorks sure. podcast. Uh, all what, right. So like Ants? Ants, B-movie. I don't think I liked Ants. Um, I'm I'm doing an anime review of B movie pretty soon, so maybe that would be appropriate. Ooh, yeah. teasing that, oh, teasing yeah. those I'm future super, projects. I'm a, I'm a huge tease. Yeah, but that's what I'm famous for. Mostly edging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are joined today by a fourth special guest uh, who we haven't heard from in a while, uh, Mr. Slide Whistle. It's always good to hear from him. He always likes to show up whenever Manimal um, makes a joke. He's for a some busy reason. guy. Yeah, he's a busy guy. He only pops in yeah. when Manimal talks. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Manimal, what's your favorite knock-knock joke? Uh... <laughs> you <laughs> stupid asshole. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, what a dick. Oh, God. So, uh, I mean, the plot of Shrek needs no introduction, needs no explanation, because everybody, every single person on Earth has probably oh, seen yeah. Shrek at least once. It's a classic film. But Everybody's d- taking a trip to the swamp. Yeah, but just in case. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and then, uh, and then Shrek said, "Get out of my swamp!" Yeah, you can't be hanging around his fucking swamp. No, no. Uh, as we were watching today, I realized that Shrek may be um, an allegory for the Holocaust, with all of the fairy tale mm. creatures being the Jews. Because that does explain that tattoo scene. Yeah, yeah. And while oh, Ralph Phineas no. was hanging out on that uh, balcony, right, looking right. at them through his yeah. As a kid, I was rifle. always confused by that scene, but now it makes total sense now that I have historical context yeah. in the film. But you have all the fairy tale creatures getting rounded up by the the knights, and then they're put into a little camp, which is Shrek's swamp. Sure. Yeah. And then you have the hero of uh, uh, the in, Knights in of Shrek. Gestapo. Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, Shrek represents the Gestapo, and he wants to get those fucking Jews. Out of his out of his swamp. So is Shrek a real like Trump, I guess. Shrek, he's he's the Trump. He's of really the, swamp. the he's the ultimate anti-hero because mm-hmm. for the first hour and ten minutes, all of the actions he makes are completely selfish. He doesn't want to save anybody. He just wants his privacy. Yeah. And the whole time he's an asshole to everybody in the movie, but he ends up being the hero. And uh, it was it's an early look, especially for a children's animated film. Of an anti-hero. It's a good way to expose kids to that uh, type of storytelling. Because yeah. up until that point, you watch your Disney movies, they're all just normal heroes. See, for mm-hmm. me, it wasn't Shrek that got me into anti-heroes. It was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. the original anti-hero. Absolutely. You hear that glass shatter, and you know somebody's going to get stunned. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a good guy or a bad guy. He's going to get someone. Or he's going to get everyone. Uh, as we were watching, um, Manimal here was tearing up a lot because I think he really relates to Shrek and his plight of being um, a hideous beast who nobody understands. And we kind of established um, that Shrek is kind of a, the perfect mixture of Manimal and Hank Hill. Mm-hmm. 
where Hank just wants things to be normal and then there's all these crazy liberals who come in and mess up his way of life. Uh, and that's the same thing with all the well, fairy tale yeah, creatures. Uh, the wolf was transgendered, correct? <laughs> yes, that's what he was oh, man. wearing the grandma's clothes, yeah. And those uh, three was... homosexual mice. <laughs> yeah, Shrek no. was not having that. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry, the three dis- uh, disabled mice and the three oh, homosexual saying, pigs. Oh, oh, I thought, yeah, I thought you were you implying homosexuality was a d- disability. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Man, well, you're turning red. I thought you'd be turning green after watching Shrek. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Manuel also revealed that he shaved his head long ago because he went, he was aspiring to be more like Shrek. Yeah, he caught me. Yeah. Yep. Can we do a video where we paint you completely green and you talk with a, an Irish accent or Scottish accent? Is it Irish or Scottish? I thought it was it's just Scottish. A, I thought it was just implied when we started doing this that we were going to do that eventually. Oh, okay. So. And speaking of Shrek's voice, mm-hmm. uh, we were discussing earlier that uh, uh, Mike Myers was not the original Shrek. No. It was supposed to be Chris Farley? Yes. And you said there's a recording of Chris's original voice yeah. acting? You can find it online. Uh, it's him doing the voice and some sort of animation test. And he, I, I think he got a fair amount of it done before he died. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And then he died and there's like 20% of the script left and they're like, shit, what yeah. are we going to do? I think they changed a lot of the movie too after that. Well, Watching it again, because I haven't seen it for years, this movie is really goddamn funny. Yeah. (laughs) It's way funnier than I remember it being as a kid, and I loved it as a kid, but I think I appreciate it more now. So any changes they made might have been for the better, because every every five seconds, I was going to say minutes, but it's way more consistent than minutes. There's a joke, either it's a a donkey making a joke, or Shrek being a dick, or a pop culture reference. There's so much comedy stuffed into this one hour 20 minute film it's jam-packed yeah i mean my dad fucking loves this movie. yeah yeah you were like, telling us about that yeah tell uh, us that story so there was one night i went that's out. why he's always calling your mom is fiona yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and he's always pulling ear wax out of his ear and putting it on a candle yeah and he's uh, eating eyeball soup yeah uh, so there was one night I was out playing game. And he drives a, a giant onion <laughs> yeah. super car. Shut up. So there <laughs> and was... he calls you his donkey. That Well, that is true. Because uh, <laughs> you're a jackass. Yeah, exactly. Back to the Hank Hill thing. Yeah. Because yeah, so, he always uh, calls people a jackass. Yeah. So was... What other Shrek things does uh, his dad do? Uh, what other Shrek things does your dad do? I'm trying to think of more Shrekisms. Um, he always asks, uh, what are you doing in my swamp? Mm-hmm. Um, he he hates the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, yeah, he hated Jesus because he was a Jew. Oh my God! So there was one night uh, we were out playing D and D, me and my dad and his friends, and uh, we went to uh, the brewery next door after we were done playing. My dad and his friends are pretty good friends with the brewmaster there, and without me even leading the conversation in this direction. They all of a sudden started talking about Shrek, and not and how only old they are start, your dad's friends. They're in their forties. Okay, I think one of his friends, uh, probably younger, is probably in his thirties. Mm. There, the conversation literally got to a point where they were laughing so hard in remembrance of Shrek <laughs> that they all started crying. They were <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> were they all wasted too, sitting at the bar, or were they so? Uh, my dad was pretty drunk. <laughs> I don't think his friends got quite to that level. But... What about recalling Shrek made them hysterical? Well, I mean, you can't recall Shrek without a large wave of emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's a sexual thought or it's just a comedic thought. Yeah. But yeah, it, I just sat there and watched my dad and two other grown men openly weep of joy as to how good Shrek is. Didn't you say they had entire scenes memorized? Yeah, like they were going word for word of fucking scenes like that parfait scene. His friend <laughs> literally said word for word that entire scene. The exchange and I think about that was, onions, cakes, and parfaits. Yeah, I think that, that exchange like brought my dad to tears. Like, <laughs> that, that's when he openly started weeping. Was he doing impressions of Shrek and Donkey too? Oh, absolutely. He does. He, he drops donkey lines all the time. <laughs> Speaking of dropping lines, we realized just how quotable this and movie how is. great cocaine oh. is. How great cocaine is. Yeah. Okay. When did you realize that? When we were dropping lines. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> uh, but this movie is one of the most quotable movies of all time, I'd say, because just even the the scene where Lord Farquaad is torturing Gingerbread Man, like almost every line that Gingerbread Man says. You said you say in real life all the time. Yeah, I do. I say you're a monster fucking... You're a monster! Fucking constantly. 
And then when they go to, um, what's the name of the... You just, you just fucking have that slide whistle in your mouth all the time, just waiting for some reason <laughs> to do it. Because I know you're going to say anything at all. God damn it. When they go to Duloc and they watch the little uh, puppet show and they're singing the song, I think that's really memorable too because yeah. just the... The joke that Jack Black later stole in Nacho Libre, where you think that they're going to rhyme it and say ass, but then they actually say grass. That's a good one. Sure. This mm-hmm. is, I I realized uh, for the first time today how much uh, cussing there is in this movie. Because as a mm-hmm. kid, I only remember the part when Shrek said, I had to say my ass, and I was six or seven when Shrek came out. So it was the yeah. first time I ever heard a cuss word in the movie theater, I think. Yeah. Oh. So and that, then later on, when he says, "Look at that cunt," <laughs> and it catches you off guard. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't even know that. Two thousand one was a different time. Yeah, I didn't know that was a cuss word when I was a kid, so yeah. I, that didn't really impact me. But uh, Manimal pointed out to me that they say "damn" a whole bunch in the movie too. They do. Um, I was very surprised because I didn't. It's the same thing that. with uh, ants. If you watch that, they have cussing in that. They yeah, do like, have some cussing yeah. in that. I hated ants, and I never watched it after the first time. I, I that was something that used to be on HBO on weekends a lot when I was a kid. Ants was yeah, so I'd always catch it on there. Ants with a Z because they're really cool. With the Z, yeah, dude. Yeah, because it's Woody Harrelson and Sylvester Stallone teaming up. To oh, fight Sylvester Eagles. Stallone's in that. Yeah. yeah, he's the big buff ant. Oh, I might have to watch it again then. Maybe I. I wa- you know, I watched it again. The I watched it the other day. Like, a, maybe like a month ago? Well, yeah, you're going through with your DreamWorks line. Yeah. yeah. You're watching them in... Doing a marathon. In air, and yeah. I, I skipped the Cars movies, though, because those aren't very good. That's not DreamWorks. Well, it is now, because oh. I just made a... <laughs> you thought Cars was DreamWorks? I thought, oh, well... It's... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I got him. Oh, no. No, oh, now he's going to start over again. <laughs> nah, leave it out. I don't fucking <laughs> Cut, cut. Uh, no, fuck it. No, I meant starting over the uh, whole oh, shit, marathon. Dude. Oh, fuck, okay. you're right. Because <laughs> you thought you were skipping cars, but now, even though you weren't, now you have to start over again? Yep. Okay. There's a lot of songs in the movie, too. And I, I wasn't sure when Donkey was making up a song or if he was singing an actual popular song, but I think he's always just singing actual songs. Sure, except yeah. for one or two times when it's so Shrek-specific yeah. that yeah. it couldn't possibly be um, from somebody else. And wh- that's what I always... Enjoyed about Shrek was All Star. Yes, was All Star. <laughs> but it was. It's a movie not only of its time. It, it's of its time, but it's also timeless in the way that I think Shrek is going to be one of those classic movies that people keep watching hundreds of years down the road. Like your your when our bosses. children are long dead. Yep, Shrek will still be a big thing. Maybe yeah. not the sequels as much. And try not to bump that Sorry. because it's very sensitive on the mic. Maybe not the sequels as much, but the first Shrek is just a. It's a classic tale about. Be different, not judging people for how they look, and I think that'll resonate throughout with with children and with adults for the rest of the time. And the comedy is fucking great, even if you don't catch all the pop culture references. There's still so much funny stuff. A little sure. something for the kids, a little something for some mom and dad, and a lot more for the parents than I remember it being. But of course, because I was a kid back then. Yeah. I also learned uh, that Tic Tacs exist within the Shrek universe. Tic Tacs yeah. exist. Uh Interspecies romance. Well, that exists in every universe. Yes. I can't imagine a worse hell than a universe without interspecies romance. Yeah. I wouldn't exist without it. How Neither intolerant would Manimal. that universe. Manimal would never get laid if you couldn't have sex with horses. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that Remember that part where Manimal was running through that field away from the Federales with his bucket of pornography <laughs> and was pouring out the sides? <laughs> was that the story about... Uh, the, Just liquid porn the, pouring uh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Two Hands? What's his name? Mr. Hands. Mr. Hands, No, yeah. well, that was the... I think it was the guy that recorded him. Because mm. Mr. Hands fucking died. Mr. Hands is the guy that got fucked in the ass by the horse. And then died, yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, go Google Mr. Hands and then and watch, watch it in public. Watch documentary Zoo. And watch it in public. And why, Yeah, well, yeah. Go to the Apple Store. Go to Starbucks. Go to the Apple Store and use it. their computers, the, yeah. the oh, display yeah, computers. Free. They want yeah. you to use them. Yeah, yeah, use the display computers and uh, watch Mr. Hands. And then subscribe to, uh, what's your channel's name? Uh, iDubs. iDubs? Yeah, subscribe to iDubs TV. Um, okay. Subscribe to... Um, Djibouti. Uh, Filthy Frank Show. Filthy Frank? Uh, yeah, Djibouti Dubs. Djibouti Dubs. Uh, that's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. Well, it's not that old, but they haven't really done much lately, have they? Yeah, they put something up every once in a while. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Subscribe to um, uh, Animals Fucking. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Uh, make That's multiple Fet Life channel. accounts. Fet Life? Oh, yeah. What's that? It's uh, Fetish Life. Oh, okay. You, it's it's kind of like Second Life, except it's for fetishes, and you don't Isn't get Isn't that avatar. what Second Life is, though? Uh, that's not what it intended it be, but yes, it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Manimal, you were telling me that Fiona was one of your first childhood crushes. I don't but, remember. Specifically, don't re- the ogre. Yeah, the ogre. Form. Form. I don't recall ever saying that. When she goes into ogre 
<laughs> maximum ogre drive. <laughs> maximum ogre drive. <laughs> Why do you think Shrek has become such a big meme? Mm. What is it about it? Because it's a classic film that we all loved as kids. Is it? Is that the only reason? Because it's something that we all share as a I think it's just generation? everyone's natural sexual desire to get with Shrek. <laughs> it's just coming out. It's yeah. a meme. Kind of like that boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, everybody wants to fuck that boy. Well, of course. Why else would you post it? Yeah. You see that control he has on that unicycle? <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know, you probably give pretty good tug jobs with his feet. Yeah, of course. Ride a unicycle. That's like great that. for a man animal because he has a foot fetish. Yeah, that's why well, he's a fa- he's such a big fan of Quentin Tarantino. No, mm-hmm. well, the more yellow the feet, the better. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Wait, is, is, does he have yellow fever? Do mm-hmm. I not know about this? Well, I mean, you know, like our horse is yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing a horse's Winnie? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Degrading Manimal Podcast. Uh, that's what it's always uh, been. That was always the movie mission. Yeah, that's the su- yeah, it's the subtext behind we just we talk about a movie, but really we're just harassing you. Anything else about Shrek you guys want to talk about? I'm trying to jump from topic to topic, but I mean usually we just go through the movie streamlined through the plot, but everybody knows the plot. Is there any other things you want to talk about? I, we should well, go back to the Chris Farley discussion because okay. do you think Chris Farley would have done a better job than Mike Myers? Because the Mike Myers Shrek is so iconic. I can't imagine anybody else doing that role. Yeah, well, I mean, I love Chris Farley, but he's he was always much more a physical performer. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. you can, he could put a lot of heart into his characters. Had he ever done loved... voice acting before? Not that I know of. Hmm. I don't think so. But... I don't know. I just love seeing Chris Farley more than I probably would have loved hearing him. Mm, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And Mike Myers, he, he did such a wonderful job yeah. with Shrek. And he did the Scottish accent and he accent will continue and to someday. Well, yeah, they're doing Shrek 5 and 6, I believe. Yeah, so... Com- Comcast bought uh, DreamWorks. Oh, they did? Yeah, and then they announced that they were going to go through with more Shrek. What other movies does DreamWorks do? Uh, Well, I mean, they do a lot of one-offs. but Yeah, what are the one-offs? I don't remember. Uh, Megamind... That was DreamWorks. Yeah, oh, Monsters okay. versus Aliens versus no, it, Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a weird one. That was. I didn't expect that in a kid's That movie. was weird. That was before Give Benghazi, too. Yeah, yeah. But they still painted Hillary Clinton as being some sort of monster. Yeah, well, she was one of the monsters. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she, and, was, she was 200 feet tall. And Donald Trump was fighting the aliens. Yeah. Yeah. And he won, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He got him behind that wall. Oh, that's right. Oh, it was shit. a happy ending. That, that wall held out. <laughs> yeah. Until the sequel, Monsters vs. Aliens vs. Benghazi vs. Syria. Yeah, yeah. versus Wall Busters, Mexican Wall Busters. Yeah, the the Wall Breakers from Clash of Clans came in. Cause they, um, they tied it in with Wreck-It Ralph, where they got video game characters oh. in it. Yeah, Disney and wow, DreamWorks Disney and were together. DreamWorks were, that, was, yeah. that was a real regular Marvel working together with DC. Are you excited for the DreamWorks Cinematic Universe, where Shrek yeah. meets all the other DreamWorks characters? Mm-hmm. Who do you think he'll, he'll get along with best? Oh, let's see. Oh boy, what's in the what's in the DreamWorks uh, pantheon? That's what I was asking you. There's, oh, you should just monsters and aliens. Uh, let's pull up a list. You think uh, Shrek cars, and Donald Trump cars would, is uh, in uh, DreamWorks? No, it's not. <laughs> Do you think Shrek and Donald Trump would get along? Because you were saying he's kind of like Trump earlier, where he's like well, the hero. Yeah, they're both heroes in that regard. Mm-hmm. Just wanting to keep their swamps pure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, just all the green, just green skin all around. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's a swamp, so they all have, like, wet backs and stuff because they're laying down on the floor. (laughs) (laughs) I can't slide whistle myself, Here we go. Uh, (laughs) So I'm just going to ramble off some uh, DreamWorks productions. Okay. Uh, Cars. Cars 2. No. Uh, Shark Tale. Okay, Shark Tale has Jack Black. Okay. And the Will Road Smith. to El Dorado. I love that movie. Oh, yeah. Have you guys seen that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Road to El Dorado was my shit. I watched that more than Shrek when I was a I kid. I probably did, too, honestly. I probably destroyed that VHS tape. I, I had that in the Game Boy Color game. Of Road to El Dorado? Mm-hmm. I didn't know there was one. It was harder than shit. Oh. <laughs> I think we know what our next gaming expedition is, Manimal. Sure. Road to El Dorado for Here GBA. We go. See if uh, we can get there. Kung Fu Panda. How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, they do. Con- oh, oh, okay. Those are pretty good movies. Yeah. Over the Hedge, Madagascar, The Croods, Turbo. Shit, DreamWorks is way better than I thought. They got home. a lot of great shit. Well, <laughs> Home, Turbo. Turbo. Is, is Home that Big Bang Theory movie? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Um, hey, my little four-year-old cousin loves that shit. 
Well, kids are stupid. Well, yeah, but it plays to an audience. Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. I, uh, I, I only remember recall that one. I I remember seeing that movie in the theater only because it had a weird joke about Sinbad talking to one of his crew members when they were like sailing through the through like Bermuda Triangle, a frozen tundra, and oh, he's okay. like, "You're gonna poke my eyes out to the guy with the out without a shirt." Oh, because he had uh, hard yeah. nipples. Yeah, and I, 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 I that's the only part of that movie I remember. <laughs> How old were you when you saw it? Well, I was 13 years ago, so I was probably about 10. Oh, okay. Did you guys all see Shrek in the theaters as children? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I probably saw it more than once. Really? Mm-hmm. In theaters? Yep. I remember... This is Which very, wasn't something I did very often when I was a kid. It was a very vague memory, but I, I was probably six, and I was in the backseat of the car, and we were driving home from Shrek, mm-hmm. and my dad... And there he was on the side of the road. Th- that was my dream that night. <laughs> yeah. But my dad pulled over um, to his friend's business, and the friend asked him, oh, how is Shrek? And my dad's going off about how great Shrek is, <laughs> and I remember that, and I was like, yeah, Shrek was great if my dad Shrek liked was it. Great. Shrek's a man I would vote for. <laughs> <laughs> he would get rid of those fairy tale creatures. Yeah. Get him out of our swamp. That'd feel safe at night. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have to worry about a transgendered wolf coming into my room. I mean, oh, come on, uh, Lightning Long Johnson. Do you lock your door at night? So why not lock up the country? I live in Canada. I don't lock my door oh, at night. Oh, that's right. Oh. That's a safe place. Yeah. If a fairy tale creature just barges into your house, would you let him stay? No. You say you have to get a permit. You have to sign your papers yeah. if you want to come visit my house. You have to have a gun in your hand. <laughs> I don't see a gun in your hand. If he has a gun, he doesn't need to sign any papers. No. What do you guys think of Eddie Murphy's performance in this film? Eddie Murphy's great. I noticed a weird thing. Uh, there's like a weird common joke that I've noticed among numerous... I don't know if it's just an Eddie Murphy bit and specifically, but that part where he's like walking around Trek's swamp and he goes, look at that rock. That's a nice rock. Oh, I said boulder. Boulder, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that boulder. That's a nice boulder. That same joke is in. Uh, That's a joke. Doctor Doolittle. Uh, is it? Is it a boulder or is it no, just? No, it's word? about like I think it's like a picture of a bunny. He goes like, "Look at that bunny. That's a nice bunny." It's, and it's the same fucking it, joke. It's a kind of funny line. Well, yeah, it's kind like, of funny. Something that wouldn't be considered nice or. I don't know if he compliment. just. He thought it was so hilarious. He had to use it <laughs> twice, or <laughs> well, they took the time to animate it, so they must have liked it too. Does he use that joke in Tower Heist? Uh, yeah, he looks, he says, look at that tower. That's a nice tower. <laughs> uh, what are some other, other Eddie Murphy movies? Um, uh, an orbit? Uh, does he... Does he <laughs> look at that obese woman. That's a nice obese woman. <laughs> uh, look at that dream girl. That's a nice dream girl. That's, Coming that's to a America. nice dream girl. What, is it, he's in Dream Girls, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, I haven't seen it. Uh, what else is Eddie Murphy in Cars? Was he in Cars? Well, that well, DreamWorks well, movie? Transgender, uh, transgendered prostitute. Oh, in Cars? No, oh. he's been in one. Oh, <laughs> Look at that transgender prostitute. That's, That's a, a nice, nice transgender, transgender prostitute. prostitute. Whoa. Let's see. Just hold on that. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I hate the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the world starts coming and they don't stop coming. Back to the blood and they hit the ground running. Then it makes sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so much to take to the back streets. You never know if you don't roll. <laughs> Hey, Bane, take the mask off. You're a big guy, C.I.A. Hey, hey, now, who would shoot guys before throwing out of a plane? So uh, we were talking last night. uh, Manimal and I were over uh, at a friend's house, and we were talking with her parents about how uh, that... Well, uh, you made a mistake there. He said her on accident. No, that's not a mistake. We don't have we don't we don't talk to the oh, girls. Okay, were, were we talking about what what song was it that we were saying is the Shrek song, and her parents were disagreeing with us? I don't think I left pretty early. Oh, okay. I don't think I was there. It, it was a song by the which song is by the Monkeys, and it's from like the sixties. Hey, 70s. hey, we're the Monkeys. No, the isn't there a song in Shrek that's by the Monkeys? I'm a believer. Is no, is that it? Is, uh, is it I'm a believer? I don't I don't think I'm. Okay. One, of, one of the songs, we were saying it's the Shrek song, and they're like, no, that's been a popular song since the 70s. And I, I told them, no, after Shrek, that became unequivocally the Shrek that's song. That's the standard. Yeah. After Shrek, oh. that's the standard. I looked up I'm a Believer, and it instantly came up with uh, Smash Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a Believer is a monkey song with the monkeys. Okay, so Shrek t- 
took that song from the this. monkeys. Uh, other recordings of this song. Neil Diamond. Smash Mouth. Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah. He does sing it at the end. Yeah. Yeah, what do you know? Are you talking about that uh, song from Trek 2? Come on, come on, turn a little fast. We'll find out next month. Because that's accounting. That's what they're voting for. Oh. Anyway, do you guys have any last things to say about Shrek before we move on? Uh, keep the good time Shrekking along. Oh, we have to give it our final ratings. So you're probably gonna Fuck give the it swamp. I make come. Manimal's probably gonna give it like. <laughs> <laughs> what can we? Uh, can someone ISO that for me and send it to me? Manimal's gonna probably give it three cars out of ten or something stupid. Give it one swamp out of eight. Something. I'll retarded. give it one depressed dragon out of my life. Yeah, you were talking about oh, the scene where uh, it's playing Hallelujah and the dragon is crying into a pond. You, you said that you've, you've never related to a dragon so much before. And this time I'm not making that up. He actually did say that. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. What would you give the rating, uh, Mr. Lightning? Uh, let's let's give it a good old three blind mice. Three out, three gay disabled blind three mice. Three gay disabled blind mice out of uh three gay pigs. Okay. What that rating means. It's, I don't it's know. open to interpretation. I was coming along with that joke as I was saying it and it just did not come together. You know it did come together? The movie Shrek. The, oh, oh, perfectly. Yep. I think perfectly. the script is is I wouldn't say flawless cuz few scripts are, but there's so much humor jammed packed in. Mm-hmm. It's got a classic story that's going to go through the generations. Don't smile at me like I'm you being might, cheesy. No, I love no, Shrek. I gotta, it, it's almost like you say this movie has layers. This movie has like many layers. Onion. We haven't even talked about all the yeah, layers like in this film. Onion. Layers. Multiple layers. It's a very important, and I don't know if it's even uh, some people say, oh, it's a story about racism, but I think it goes even deeper than that. I think you, know what I miss? you shouldn't judge anybody by how they look, right? Shrek Chan. Is that down? Yeah, it's Piggy Chan now. Piggy Chan? What's that? It's about pigs now. Oh, yeah, Shrek Chan was great. It's yeah. Whole, Do you remember uh, when they Chan. plotted to uh, bomb the Olympics on Shrek Chan? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah. Have you guys seen Shrek the Musical? I think it's still up on Netflix. Oh, Shrek the Hall. Wait, no, I'm thinking of Shrek the Halls. No, this is an actual, like, it's not Broadway. Sure, Shrek. Yeah, the live action Shrek. Yeah, I've seen and it. for Farquaad, they just have a guy walking around on his knees. God damn it. Oh, yeah, we, we didn't talk about all the manlet shaming in this movie. Oh, but yeah. Maybe we should skip over that. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, one of my fondest oh, no. memories is still of seeing your mother posting a status oh, on Christmas God. Eve saying... This is like three years ago. Yeah. Does any anybody want two little boys that are obsessed with Shrek? <laughs> oh, shit. I remember yeah, that. It was 2013. It was Christmas Day, and the Shrek meme was going full circuit. And, oh, yeah. And me and my brother got out our old VHS and threw it in <laughs> on Christmas Day and made the whole family watch it. And we were just laughing hysterically at every line. And my parents... Well, my dad was okay, but my mom was getting very irritated. That's Shrek religious. Yeah, it's Shrek religious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, for my rating, I'd give Shrek a solid eight point five out of ten. It's not sure. a perfect movie, but it's highly enjoyable. I'd recommend it to almost anybody, uh, regardless of age, regardless of creed, regardless of gender. It's a film that everybody can enjoy. Fiona, mm-hmm. she's not just a damsel in distress. No, she's not just she, your typical princess. She has layers. She beats the. F- Fuck out of those merry men. She's got Beats the fuck and out. And a timely of them. Like uh, an Matrix reference. Yeah, yeah. When it zooms around her, three sixty. Yeah. yeah, we. we I think that. every cartoon at the time had was legally obligated it's to do, make, <laughs> make yeah. this joke. Yeah. Oh yeah. So is that it for Shrek then? I think that's it'll it. never be over for Shrek. No. I think if we think of more Shrek things to talk about, because this movie does have a lot of layers, oh, yeah. uh, we can just randomly insert the Shrek discussions into future episodes. Yeah, like an onion. We're in the middle of talking about Only God Forgives, and then we'll talk about Shrek for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, let's move on to everybody's favorite section, the the fan mail. Hey. Hey. Uh, do you want to sing a song about we fan mail? We don't, have, don't, have, have, any we don't <laughs> have any mail. We don't have any fans. How can we have mail if we don't have fans? We don't have any mail. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah we should start bad. like a doo wop band or something. That's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, we got a bunch of comments today. I, I had a whole bunch of good ones, and this is um, in reference to our Serbian film episode that you missed out on. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lightning. My dad was here, and he was. I was still 
recovering in the Lazarus pit. Yeah, you were still dead. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Uh, in the Lazarus pit. That's pretty good. Uh, my dad watched a Serbian film with Manimal and I. And sure he did. Was, he was almost silent the entire episode because he was so disgusted and uncomfortable. Sure. Uh, and, I can't say much because I was pretty much Manimal the same way. Manimal didn't say much either. I was really uh, uh, pulling the rope on that one. Yeah. So here's some comments about the Serbian film episode. This is from Where Ashton. Where is Lightning Long Johnson? Uh, when Lightning Long Johnson isn't on screen, all the other characters should be asking, where's Lightning Long Johnson? <laughs> is that a Mad Max reference? No, it's a, it's a Simpsons reference about Poochie. Oh, because I always see on uh, TV, they post um, a fake quote from George Miller saying, when Furiosa isn't on screen, all the characters should be asking, where's Furiosa? Where's Fur- Furiosa? Anyway, this is a comment from Ashton Collider. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I was not expecting this out of a movie. I know the Human Centipede trilogy had a lot of issues being able to put such grotesque things in their movie, but I guess Serbian law is a little more lax on their movies. Still couldn't help but envy Milos just a little bit towards the end. <laughs> so he had me going, and then that, that last slide kind of... I was like, okay, now i got to include this comment. Whoa. Uh, so we... I inspired Glad you some- enjoyed the episode, buddy. <laughs> I inspired somebody to watch that movie, which is my goal, and he... Got a little aroused by it, so I'm pretty happy with myself. I helped the guy achieve orgasm. That's all I can ever hope to do, mm-hmm. is to that's, help, that's help my fellow man. can, you know, <laughs> ever aspire to do. Oh, here's a comment that made me really happy once I saw the results of the voting. This is a comment from Mr. Goose that says in all caps, VOTE ONLY GOD FORGIVES! Hey, there we yeah, go. Yeah, so you got fucked on that one, man, and well, yeah, you lost again. Sure did. Never vote for only God forgives, people. I'd rather you vote for Shrek 2, 3, and 4 than only God forgives. Never give Manimal what he wants. Oh, here's a comment you guys are going to... That's something life tells me all the time. (laughs) Here's a comment you guys are going to really enjoy. This is from Metal Man. He says, Monkey, can you ask Kermit to make a Skype call next time? (laughs) It might seem like a lot to ask, but he appears to be a very dedicated viewer. (laughs) Do, do, do. Oh, oh, is that the Skype? (laughs) And I'm just going to go... No! There you go. There we go. Hello, it's Uh, Kermit the Frog here answering my Skype. I don't recognize this caller. Who is this? I still only answer it instead of hanging up. Oh, hey, Kermit. It's uh, it's, uh, Monkey, Manimal, and Lightning Long Johnson from the Movie Missions podcast. How's how's it going? We're doing a, a live call on the show. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm I'm so excited for the new episode. I hear you're doing Shrek. See, I like Shrek because he's green like me. Is it easy being green, Kermit? No, it, it's not easy being green. If I Do you want to hear that green off? Would you die? It would be extremely <laughs> painful. You're a little guy. <laughs> Who are you? Do you know that boy by chance? Yes, he's my cousin. I, he's, think, I figured you guys look pretty boy the frog there. I'm Glad the memes youngest. are keeping you alive, Kermit. Yeah, can, can you give us uh, that boy's uh, Skype information so we give him a call? Yes, here, I sent you a message. Okay, time to go fuck Miss Piggy. See you guys later. Have Get fun with Get in that Shrek. shit. Get in that shit, my okay, brother. Okay, guys, uh, Kermit hung up. Now let's call that boy. Beep, beep. Beep. Oh shit, it looks like he's busy. Maybe next time. Rest in peace, joke. <laughs> you killed that meme forever, manimal. You should be ashamed. Here's a message from Transmitter of Autism, so it could have been either one of you. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. And as a My Little Pony avatar, so it's probably manimal. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that disturbed me the most in this episode was that Monkey's dad actually seems like a nice dad. That is pretty disturbing. Yeah, sure. It's 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 tragic that such a nice man could have such a terrible offspring, I think. That's the true tragedy. Where did it all go wrong? I can only imagine that he gets his frustration out with every piece of wood that he chops. I can only God forgives. Here's a comment. From, uh, they probably didn't even hear <laughs> that one. might probably even pick that one no. up. <laughs> all right. Here's a comment from Boomers. Oh, it's, uh, so I... I was incorrect in my description of a Serbian film. I got one of the important plot points wrong, so he corrected me. Uh, Boomer says, Dude, the drug didn't make her vagina explode. She got so horny she fucked her vagina with the steel baton. Hmm. And fuck you, monkey, my curiosity killed me. Yeah, been there. So, yeah, I guess uh, when she got injected with the the super horse bull thing. Yeah, I never thought her vagina exploded. I kind of thought the same thing. Why didn't you say something, Uh, Manimo, if that is your real name? Next comment. Okay. This is very unprofessional. Oh, oh, I got two left. Manimo, put your phone away. Yeah, (laughs) man. Okay, here's one from Xmar5. It's like Monkey is holding his dad and Manimal at gunpoint in this podcast. 
much closer to reality than you might think. Sure. And they did not want to be there, and no. I forced them. Or else uh, I was going to kick my dad out of his own house, and I was going to tell Manimal he was off the show forever. And then what does Manimal have? He, then he has nothing. He, he, has, he has nothing other than this podcast. Morning's open, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. His whole, his whole morning would be open. Yeah, he would have to, like, go to the gym, which he never does. Yeah. Or, or something. Or, like, eat breakfast. Yeah. Or, or like... Watch Shrek. Watch Shrek. Yeah, or watch Only God Forgives, or, or watch, watch Drive. Shrek 2. Or, yeah, Shrek 2, that's pretty good. Or True. watch, uh, I don't know, some sort of Shrek Keeping up parody. with the Kardashians. I can do all up. those things. Does Shrek have a last name? Keeping up with the ogres? Uh, I'm Yeah, I'm guessing it's Shrek Ogre. Oh, okay. Shrek Ogre. Here's the last comment from Lucasaur. He says, It's amazing how many prominent internet celebrities follow your channel. Digibro, Kermit the Frog, iDubs, etc. Speaking of Kermit the Frog... Well, that's not a question. <laughs> and think... that's not even a comment about the episode, really. No, that's just... Mumkey just took it out and measured it. Measured what? Your success. No, that, I only used that comment because he mentioned Kermit the Frog. It mm. wasn't It wasn't to um, it wasn't inflate the, my own ego. It wasn't the fact that two very popular YouTubers are following you. No, no, it wasn't. It was because Kermit the Frog's following me, and he's, yeah. he's one of my idols. So it's only a matter of time before. Uh. Spe- speaking of which, I know we just called Kermit, but I did have a voicemail from him if you guys want to hear it. Because I know you do. Load it up. All right. Beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Play. You have one new voicemail. From Kermit T. Frog. Press 2 to delete. No! Uh, no press it... 2 there. Voicemail sent Saturday, <laughs> August 2nd at 9.08 p.m. Oh, wow. Kermit was up late for a frog. Oh, is it playing now? 2015. Oh, 15. oh whoa, we said it whoa. a year ago. Shit. Hey guys, uh, Kermit the Frog here. Um, uh, this is me back in 2015, and I'm just hoping I have a recommendation for you. I think you should start a movie missions podcast. I think that would be really interesting. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. I have to go fuck Miss Piggy. Okay, bye. Wow, Kermit gets laid a lot. Yeah, guys. he got in that. Chair. And he always talks sure. about it too. So, Kermit, hey. my brother, give me a high five. Okay, lightning, I'll give you a... Whoa, how's he talking, Whoa. To, he's talking to him through the years? Damn. That's crazy. Oh, uh, it's like, it's a it's a real lake house. Yeah, it's a, it's a real The Notebook. <laughs> it's a real... There's no time travel in oh, The Notebook. I, I misinterpreted that film. <laughs> it's a real primer. Okay, it's a real looper. Yeah. It's a real... Back to the Future. Back to the Future. It's a real Back to the Future Part 2. It's a real Project Almanac. It's a real Back to the Future Part 3. It's real. Back to the Future, the animated... Ah, I was going to do that one, you son of a bitch! Yeah. Hey, it's finally revealed that the idea for this podcast was from Kermit the Frog all along. Yeah. He started it, and he'll end it. It's Ogre when he says it's Ogre. That's fair. Yeah. He has the podcast delete button in his hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a regular Sean the Auto audio engineer. Go ahead and That's drop... a joke you guys won't get. Nope. <laughs> Don't understand that one. Go ahead and drop that uh, bomb anytime now, Kermit. Just go ahead and... Oh, you feel no. Free. No, we still got to watch the rest of the Shrek yeah. series. Anyway, speaking of future movies, now we move on to uh, a dual part of movie recommendations. First, okay. this is kind of a new thing. We recently lowered it down, t- so you guys all get a vote down at the straw poll in the description. And I used to have 30 movies available, but that was way too many. So now we're doing yeah. it at 10. And the new thing we're going to do is each of the co-hosts gets to choose one movie out of every movie ever made that they want you guys to vote for. And then the other seven will continue to be ones recommended by you guys. So who wants to go first in... Uh, Begging everybody to vote for your movie. Well, I mean... We know you have yours planned ahead, Manimal, so go ahead. I do, but I want to hold that off until we get the Shrek train moving. Like, I want to I want to finish the Shrek ride. Oh, well, then go ahead and recommend Shrek 2, then. Sure. Okay, well, if that's what you really want to watch, go ahead. Well, I guess, why stop now? Let's keep the Shrek train rolling. <sighs> the Shrek on! <laughs> Is that... I'm the Lightning, man. did you have a movie, or should I put Shrek on the list fucking twice? Mm, well, let's see. There's a lot of movies out there. Uh, let's do this one you have on your shelf. Otaku Unite. The Otaku movie, Unite. The documentary I got sent in the mail. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Five otakus, four otakus. The first documentary about anime fandom. I'd be okay with watching that for this show. That'd be an interesting discussion, actually. Yeah. I'll put that on the list, sure. Let's do it. Uh, okay. You know, I set up this bit and I didn't even think of a movie. Mm. Uh, only God Forgives. No, not Only God Forgives. 
Uh, okay, guys, uh, go vote for Inglorious Bastards. I want to watch that with my friends and talk about it. That's a good movie. Sure. That would be more like a serious discussion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, I mean, you got to balance off your, your Drop tricks. all this joke em shit. Yeah, yeah, joke, joke em ups. As joke em ups. And now, now that we've all advocated what movies we want you guys to vote for, now we'll move on to the most boring part of the show. Mm-hmm. Recommendations of movies that we really like, that we think you should go. If you're bored, go watch it in your free time. And I've got a very, very pretentious one today. So oh if boy. you guys aren't ready, I can start us off. Is it? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I took... uh, Shrek 40, The Universal Ride. Shrek 88. Shrek 88. Right, right. Uh, no, the movie, I'm going to recommend a Japanese film by yep, renowned, yep, bye, you know renowned filmmaker Akira Kurosawa. Oh. It's a film from 1985, one of his later works. It's a an adaptation of the Shakespeare play King Lear called Ran, or perhaps it's pronounced mm. Ron. I don't speak Nip, so I don't know. But it's... it's. Uh, I'm all for this recommendation. Have you seen it? No, but I like... I'm a big old fan of the samurai movies, mm. and I do like Kira Kisawa. It's a three-hour epic tale of a, a samurai king warlord kind of guy who bequeaths his uh, kingdom to his sons, and they fucking betray his ass. Mm. And it's... It starts off pretty much as an adaptation of King Lear, but it veers off very much. And I, what I really like about this film, and this might be, uh, what, what's it called, uh, uh, heresy, uh, when you do something that's super wrong, heresy. So mm-hmm. This might be, uh, <laughs> this might be heresy. Sure, this might be something that you you shouldn't say, but I think uh, Kurosawa did a better script than the original King Lear play. Because he took all these one-dimensional characters that were in the original, like The Fool, for example, and he gave everybody so much freaking depth. This movie has so much more um, important symbolism, I think, than King Lear. Uh, Because I I watched this movie in a Shakespeare adaptations class, so we read King Lear and then we watched the film and compared them, obviously. Compare and contrast. Exactly. That explains a scene halfway through it where Akira Kasao appears on screen and says, now we ask the teachers to please pause the video <laughs> and compare and contrast. He was like 85 when he made this movie, yeah. too. It was crazy. But the, the Fool character in particular, the Fool in King Lear is my favorite of all of uh, Lear, uh, Shakespeare's Fools that he ever wrote. And they're, He wrote a lot characters. of them. He did. Uh, and this and what actually, a Fool Believes. This one's just right? called Lear's Fool, which I like that he doesn't have What a Lear name. Believes. But uh, King Lear's Fool is my favorite Fool, and Akira Kurosawa took that character and made it so much better better it's unbelievable this is one of the darkest most dreary depressing sad movies you will ever see you'll feel like disgusting sad garbage when you watch it what's that but the fool is so funny in the movie i love it so much go watch 1985 ron i think it's on amazon prime or some shit if you have that so good it's just r-a-n it got me thinking when you said sad depressing movies what's that uh like anime movie about the lion king yeah yeah yeah, that's that's my favorite anime. Okay, right up there with Shrek. Okay, but what's that one where it's about like uh, the bombs dropping on Japan and it's that family that dies? Is that a Miyazaki film? I don't know. I can't remember. I just remember watching. I don't think I watched all of it, but it was like as the house was collapsing around this family, like a couple of the kids were like burning alive. Oh my god! The that ones had to that doesn't sound like uh... it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was an animated movie, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm Is sure somebody has seen it. Uh, no, oh, okay. uh, I'm gonna go with something else in line with Shakespearean. Okay, uh, just as good. Romeo plus Juliet. Yep. Only God forgives. Uh, well, Nicholas Winding Refn's <laughs> oh, movie. Oh no! The Neon Demon. Ah, uh, it just keeps getting uh, more pretentious. I, I yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, maybe maybe I oversold it a bit comparing it to Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hard to say. Who's to say? I'll say that. To be fair, watch it. Judge for yourself. To be fair, I did say my adaptation. Compare and contrast. I did say my recommendation was better than Shakespeare, so mm-hmm. maybe maybe you're not as pretentious as I am. Maybe not. Uh, I saw it kind of on a whim. I went to go see it, and I you actually... You were waiting years to see this, don't oh, lie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did follow its development. Yeah. Uh, I went to go see it, and I enjoyed it a lot. I'd say I enjoyed it more than Only God Forgives. Well, that's not that hard. No. Well, maybe not for everybody. <laughs> uh... I liked it a lot. It's a it's a very 
I don't think I would have the same reaction to it if I watched it at, at home as I did in the theater. Were there other people in the theater with you? There were other people. There were also, like, a group of teenage girls, and I don't think they, uh... Did they understand it was really called the Semen Demon? I don't think they did. <sighs> oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> but I... It's a very visceral experience. Mm. Like, it's... I think I liked the first half of it more when it's kind of more subdued than the last half. Well, well I, I went in the movie wanting the last half, wanting it to go off of walls and crazy, like Refn does and violent. But I actually found myself enjoying the more subdued character stuff earlier on. And so a lot it started more. off as a drive and turned into an Only God Forgives. Kind Well, kind of. I don't... It's hard to really get into it without spoiling it. Oh, that's okay. But uh, it's it's it looks amazing. Mm. And I think even somebody who might not enjoy that type of movie would be hard to argue. They can still appreciate the beauty of the film. That's Absolutely. something Refn's really good at, though. His S- movies are always really, really nice to look at. Especially the uh, scene where she's walking down the catwalk, and it's the... There's... There's... Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but there's no actual, like, any sort of... Plot? M- demon or any sort of supernatural presence even though that's what it's called Mm -hmm. but there is a scene of like transformation and it's just incredible watching it you're just like it Mm. just it looks incredible next you're gonna tell me the devil wears prada doesn't actually feature the devil well it does what yeah and hathaway is the devil in that movie Shit, she's a secret devil that's the one that always gets you i thought that was the elevator movie where there's a secret devil in the elevator elevator is that what it was (laughs) yeah was that the one written by m night Shyamalan? yeah is that really what it's called uh i I can probably yeah (laughs) wasn't it a it was a flop house movie yeah yeah elevator is really what it was called no i think it was like devil or something devil inside or devil's do or something devil inside is that one that ends without a real ending and it tells you to go to a website <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> oh fuck off well think of uh speaking of things that are beautiful manimal do you have a recommendation for us uh and it better not be one of your fan edits of dark knight rises it better not be only god forgives uh, oh no he's making a face like no those are my those are my go-tos better not be castle freak better not be invisible maniac um, head of the family head i do family. own head of the family i have watched it i'll put that on the list that's a good one it's like fucking a firecracker. Okay. That's a real line in that movie. Do you like any movies at all, Manimal? No. Can you recommend Shrek? Uh, go ahead and watch... Uh, Shrek 2. <laughs> Get ready for the next review. Go Microwave ahead. Massacre. Go oh, okay. Ahead, go ahead. Uh, check out a little flick known as my fan edit of The Dark Knight no! Check it out. You know, by the time... It's weird because he mixes in uh, The Dark Knight Rises with The Dark Knight Rises porn parody, and it's <laughs> seamless. Yeah. He wouldn't even know. Seamless. Oh, no, it's not seamless. There's no I... cum shot. No. What? You yeah. ruined the best part. I can't come it's, unless it, he the watched comes. it. He watched it a million times with the cum shot in, and he just could not get the pacing right. Oh. Yep. <laughs> so he had to edit it out. Sure did. He didn't, couldn't just speed it up. Spliced. It broke his heart, but it's something he had it to do. broke his dick, too. It did break his dick. Yep. Broke my heart. And my dad. And hey, by the time this airs, our the short film that all three of us worked on, uh, Snap Crackle Cop, that will be up on two. That's Damn our Monkey. space cop. Yeah, it's our space cop. So go check that out too. I guess I'll post a link to that. It's our short film that we made over one weekend, and it was a lot of fun. Is it better than Space Cop? You decide. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say yes or no. Some of the that's jokes work a lot better than Space Cop. That's for sure. Should I put Space Cop on the list? Then Manimal will have to bring mm, me my copy. No, back. I don't wanna. Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, you sure do. Anyway. You guys have anything else today, or are we done for the month? Um, I'm hungry. Well, that's no surprise. Anything else from you, Lightning? Oh, I don't H- know. How is it being dead? Was it fun? Is yeah, it, it was is fun, Is it better I than guess. being alive? Mm, I've always yeah. figured it was. Yeah. Yeah. It should, was kind of chill. So should I just kill myself? There's no heaven or hell, by the way. I didn't think so. Yeah. So you're good. Oh, yeah. I was going to go to hell. Yeah. For sure. Anyway, signing off for Mumkey and Manimal's Movie Missions Podcast, I am Mumkey Jones. I have been Trek. I'm John John Johnson. And we're... Uh, in a swamp. <laughs> oh yeah, we have a new theme song. I don't remember who it's from, oh. but I'll credit them in the description. Thanks hey, for the theme song. I haven't heard um, it. I'm excited to hear it. I don't remember his name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll say your name in the next episode. Bye! <laughs> yeah.